Are you thinking about moving to New Brunswick? Want to know what I love and what I don't like about living in New Brunswick? Then don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. I will reveal the good, bad, and even the ugly too. Hi, I am Coco Kenny. I am a real estate agent in Fredericton, New Brunswick. I post new videos every week about all things real estate in the Fredericton area. If you want to know about the Fredericton, New Brunswick real estate, subscribe to my channel by clicking that little bell down below. Are you wondering what it is like living in New Brunswick? Or are you planning to move to New Brunswick? Either way, you don't want to miss what I am going to talk about today. I am going to talk, discuss the pros and the cons about New Brunswick. Okay, let's get off my shoulder what I don't love about New Brunswick first. Number one, weather. The city is very good at cleaning out the road and putting down sand and salt. But if you are living outside of the city, it could take a little while for the city to clean the roads. As expected across Canada, the weather will get to be very cold, with the average temperature during the winter barely staying above zero with odd snow showers and freezing rain here and there. When a snowstorm or freezing rain comes, schools will be often closed or students will have a half day off the school. My advice is to keep an eye on the weather news in the winter so you can schedule yourself to stay home with your kids or schedule to hire a babysitter for a day. However, unlike more northern parts of Canada, New Brunswick has much better summers, especially if you are living inland. The average temperature in the summer in the New Brunswick is in the high 20s, sometimes low 30s. So when those months come, you will feel like it is a real summer. I was so amazed when experienced New Brunswick summer for the very first time. It is so beautiful here in the summer. People often enjoy going for a walk in the nature, beaches, outdoor pools, relaxing on the patio set. I am sure you will enjoy it too. If you live anywhere along the coast, of course it will be a little cooler from the cold Atlantic winds, but you will still have plenty of sun and warmth. Whoops, I cannot forget to mention this. Summer vacation for school usually starts at the end of June and finishing at the beginning of September. My son loves this long summer vacation. Parents, don't worry. There are many summer programs that the kids can join. Most of them cost money and lots of nature that they can explore. So they will not be bored. Number two, languages. New Brunswick is one of the few provinces that recognizes French as one of their official languages, with around a third of the population speaking French more often than English, while the province also has English as the other official language. I live in Fredericton and I can't speak French, but I don't have any problem living here whatsoever. There are French schools in the province too, although there are some criteria for your child to be able to go to a French school. My son is not in a French school, but he has been in French immersion since he was in grade 3. Parents have a choice for their child to take a French immersion or not when they are grade 3. They also have a choice to take a late French immersion when they are grade 6. Some cities, for example, like Bathurst, have a higher percentage of French speakers. You can get by not speaking French in New Brunswick, 
but it is still important to try and learn French if you are thinking of moving here or at least starting to learn after you have arrived. Number three, unemployment. Unemployment is relatively high. This is not to say you cannot find a job, but you might face a little bit of a struggle beforehand. The unemployment rate in New Brunswick was 9% as of November 2021, with a national average of 6%. This rate in New Brunswick is far higher than in other parts of the country. Some of the biggest factors for the high rate are that firstly, two of the main industries of the province are fishing and agriculture. But of course, these are specialized jobs. Secondly, a percentage of jobs in New Brunswick are seasonal. During the summer, you can find a job quite easily working for any part of the tourist industry perhaps in a cafe or a hotel, but when the tourists disappear comes winter. Unfortunately, so do the jobs. Okay, before I move on to the pros of living in New Brunswick, I want to talk about the sales tax in New Brunswick. New Brunswick is one of the provinces in Canada that charges a harmonized sales tax HST of 15%. HST is applied to most goods and services, but there are some categories that are exempt or related from HST. So if you buy a $500 TV, it will cost you $575. Some retailers have no tax sales events, so I recommend to keep your eyes on those sales so you don't have to pay 15% HSD. Okay, this is my favorite part. Pros of living in New Brunswick. Let's go! Number one, cost of housing. Compared to a lot of the other Canadian provinces, New Brunswick has a relatively low cost housing. When you purchase new construction or commercial, HSD is applicable. But most of the cases, when you buy a house, HSD is not applicable in New Brunswick. Although, According to the Canadian Real Estate Association, statistics show that the average price of a home in New Brunswick has climbed 24.5% in 2021, going from a little over $200,000 in October 2021 to a little over $250,000 in October 2021. But Buying a house in one of the more rural areas can be extremely cheap and you can pay as little as around $40,000 for a smaller house, even close to a city or in one of the smaller cities, the house prices are still not outrageous. To give some perspective, as of 2021, the average house price for Canada is over $720,000. Don't you think this is a remarkable difference? Secondly, New Brunswick has such friendly people. I have lived in Fredericton, New Brunswick for 12 years. It has a low crime rate and a very nice environment to raise a family. Most people who move to New Brunswick find they are welcomed into a very friendly community. Currently, there are about 770,000 residents in New Brunswick. One thing I was surprised when I moved to New Brunswick was when I go to a grocery shop and get in the line to pay, people start to talk, having a conversation, laughing, out of nowhere and it happens all the time that's how friendly people are here in new brunswick 
One of the most daunting parts about moving to a new place is not knowing anyone there. It can be hard to make friends or become part of your local community. But the residents of New Brunswick make the whole process so much easier. Number three, nature. If you enjoy being in the great outdoors and among nature, then New Brunswick is a great place to be. It is estimated that around 80% of the province is made up of forests. That makes for some beautiful camping spots, plenty of hiking trails, and a gorgeous, never-ending landscape that takes your breath away. I attached a link below of the 20 must-visit nature spots in New Brunswick. So if you are interested, please check it out. And you can't forget the animals that live in the surrounding areas. You will see moose, deer, black bears, fox, geese, and the squirrels with a big tail. I have a cranberry apple tree in my front yard. Deers come out and eat the cherry apples from the tree in the spring. We make eye contact sometimes, but they keep eating. It is so cute and I definitely enjoy watching them. But you should be careful about moose or deer when you drive on the highway, especially at nighttime. We have accidents because of them every year. So I advise for you to be cautious when you drive, especially in the winter time in the dark. But I don't think you will never grow tired of seeing some of the best things that the nature has to show. And lastly, pros of living in New Brunswick. Number four, low cost of living. One of the great things about living in New Brunswick is the low cost of living, more so than other provinces in Canada. New Brunswick is a perfect for family to relocate to because it is affordable to live here. The cost of living per month in New Brunswick is $612 per person and $1,898 for a family of four, excluding rent in both cases. In New Brunswick, the average salary is $65,910 per year, which is among the lowest in Canada. New Brunswick offers a low cost of living than most provinces in Canada. However, New Brunswick is a family-oriented province, so it is not for someone who desires a fast-moving career path, and some people might feel the nightlife is a little short, and I cannot forget to mention about the healthcare. All citizens and the permanent residents of New Brunswick enjoy universal public funded healthcare. New Brunswick Medicare pays for medically required services. Also, New Brunswick provides a prescription drug plan that provides drug coverage for residents without drug insurance. If you want to know the details about healthcare in New Brunswick, please contact Service New Brunswick. Here are the pros and the cons of living in New Brunswick. Despite some cons, New Brunswick is a nice family-oriented place with a friendly community and nature. If you are thinking of moving to New Brunswick, you will definitely want to check out my free relocation guide. The link is down in the descriptions, my contact info as well as my social media links too. So just let me know if there is anything that I can help you with in your relocation. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you will not miss any upcoming videos. I have got way more to tell about the living in New Brunswick in the upcoming weeks. So I will see you at the next video.